So, I'm doing this because I've seen too many things happen in the last couple of days that have really, really pissed me off. Listen here, Russian vids, 33UC, and any other whack job, nutbag, fuckstick that is out there. 9-11, Sandy Hook, the Vegas shootings, the Boston bombings, absolutely 100% fucking happened. To disrespect the family of those who have fallen is a disgrace. 100 fucking percent. You want to rant about the flat earth? Fine. You want to say that the Freemasons and the Illuminati are controlling the world and telling you what to say and what to do? That's fine also. But you do not ever disrespect the lives of the men and the women that have died as a result of these massacres. The firefighters that are dying now, the people that died in the attacks, and I can't stand it. When you assholes disrespect those who have fallen. So believe me when I tell you, I'm not going to let this stand. This will not stand. And I call for all my other debunkers and my skeptics and my whatever other members you want to call in the community to stand behind me and Put these pieces of absolute fucking trash to the fucking curb. Do not interact with these assholes. Do not bring them onto your streams. Do not bring them onto your debates. Do not give these fucking fuckwit fucktards a goddamn platform anymore. To disrespect and say that these massacres never happened is complete and utter trash. Hi everyone, I 100% agree to that video from End the Conspiracy. Stop giving people like Russian Brits etc. a platform to further spread their conspiracy nonsense. Unlike Flat Earth, these conspiracy theories harm others. Especially in case of the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting from 2012, where 20 children between 6 and 7 years old and 6 adults were killed by a 20 year old. This alone is horrifying for the families of the victims, but there are people who harass them up to this day, almost 7 years later. There are a lot of people who claim that the shooting was fake and that it was a hoax to promote gun control laws in America. Some people even took it to the next level and attacked the parents of these kids directly over the internet, on telephone and even in public saying that they are liars and that their kids never existed. This is not a new problem and the sad thing is there's really nothing anyone could do against them. They also attack those who want to help these families. They insult and threaten everyone and on YouTube they try to truth bomb videos with lots of dislikes. To make that clear at this point, not every person who believes that Sandy Hook was a hoax acts this way. But there are a lot of dumbasses like that. These people should not get a platform since they will only use that to further spread the lies and harass the family. One of the parents, Leonard Posner, whose son Noah got killed at the age of 6 during the shooting, is going through this for almost 7 years. He's fighting relentlessly against all these lies, tried to provide all evidence these believers asked for, but to no avail. He even had to go to court to get a very defaming book about Sandy Hook written by James Fetcher Band. I was very happy to hear that he won this lawsuit. It's such an important victory for him and the other parents, who filed similar lawsuits against Alex Jones and Infowars, who heavily promoted and spun the Sandy Hook conspiracy theory in the last years. I wish the families of the victims much success in their ongoing fight. And this is why I agree that people like Russian Ritz who promote this fake conspiracy theory should not get a platform on flat earth debunking channels where they keep on promoting these lies and therefore harassing family members of tragedies like Sandy Hook. For everyone interested in the topic, I have linked the website Sandy Hook Facts made by C.W. Wade in the description. He did all the work, put everything into a timeline and debunked every single claim about the shooting. He deserves a lot of respect for his work. I always link to this website when the topic Sandy Hook comes up for everyone who wants to look deeper into it and needs information about the shootings and the claims. And with that, I'll end today's video. Thanks for watching, bye bye and stay tuned.